What's up, y'all? I just wanted to get on here. I think I got a word. I, I, got, I felt it on my spirit, on my heart to say this. But, yo, all that shit that other people expect of you, all that shit, all of that negativity that they went through was not for you to go through the same negativity. So we broke, the, I broke the curse, bro. Like this generational curse, you talking about poverty mindset, you talk about minimum wage activity, I'm talking about past money, all of that talking to, to our women, calling them bees, all of that trying to beef with other men, fight with them, hating on dudes, talking about when, when somebody else doing business a different way than you, you hate on them and assassinating people, ca- that crab in the barrel. Yo, listen, bro. I broke the curse, bro. I'm not on time, man. I don't want no smoke with none of these folks. I don't compete with my folks. I eat with my folks. I'm only trying to get bags with my homies. I'm only trying to get bags with my peers, my friends. Like, I don't... I'm not competing with y'all. I broke the curse, bro. Like, so everybody who's stuck in that mentality and think that we supposed to... All of these different things that other people feel like you supposed to do... I'm on, I'm not on timing, bro. So I just wanted to say, yo, listen, if if if, if you want to level up and you want to transcend, if you want to go into that cocoon like a caterpillar and then break out and become that butterfly, break the curse, yo. Break the curse. Cut off the ties. Detach yourself. Break away. You know what I mean? Just just break away from it, yo. I know it's hard. I know it I know you feel like you gotta succumb to all of this. Listen to this, bro. Break away from the bullshit. I'm telling you, transcend, elevate. And then you're gonna you're gonna see what it looked like. You're gonna see what life really looks like. A lot of us are literally existing and not living. Some of us never even seen life. Some of us never even are never some of us never will ever see life. And the crazy thing about it is all you got to do to see it is break the curse. Like, just detach. Like, we do not need to please these other folks. We do not need to please these other folks at all. Like, I promise you, your parents, your great grandma, your uncle, your cousin, your your twice removed sister. Listen, bro, you don't got to please them folks, man. I don't care what they thought you should do. I don't care what they think you can do. I don't care what they think you're supposed to do. You got to break the curse for you to actually live. I'm telling you, it's, it takes it takes a lot of no's. It takes a lot of no's to be able to get to the yes. And you got to say no, bro. You got to say no to these folks, man. They're going to be asking you for money. They're going to be asking you to hang out. They're going to be asking you to drink. They're going to be asking you to smoke. They're going to be asking you to do some shit. Illegal shit. They gonna ask you to to suffer for them. I say say no. Break the curse. Break the curse real quick. And then watch what happened. I felt like I felt like some of y'all needed to hear that. And a lot of y'all dreams are attached to other people. A lot of y'all goals are attached to other people. A lot of y'all ambitions are attached to other people and if you don't move no they won't move if you don't go they won't go bro that's disrespectful bro, oh, man, bro. that's disrespectful oh, yo look at this boy oh, man, dog. that's disrespectful bro don't do that that's crazy look at you you gonna burn your mouth <laughs> that's what you get fool Woo. but listen to me yo listen i'm gonna tell y'all something that i needed to hear a long time ago is it cool if I tell y'all? I don't want to tell y'all if y'all don't want to know. But I'm going to tell y'all something that I needed to hear a long time ago. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell y'all something that I needed to hear a long time ago. A long time ago, I wish somebody would have told me this. It's not about you. It's not about you why that person hating. It's not about you why that person don't think you can become whatever you're trying to become. It's not about you why these people saying negative things to you. It's not about you. It's about them. And once you understand that with all of the outside noise, all of that, you know what I mean, that riffraff on the outside, it's not about you. Once you realize it, you'll be able to really transcend. It's not about you. 
when they talking when they talking trash and they saying these these people do this do that you can't you can't be this you can't be that you can't have this credit score you can't have this amount of money that's not about you that has nothing to do with you they're not even talking to you you hear it you hear it but you they're not talking to you you hear what they saying but they're not talking to you they might even think that they're talking to you but they're not because it's not about you it's about them because once once I once you realize that everything damn near that you grew up hearing is incorrect. They told us that credit was bad when we was young. They told us all of these tax you they, they even still telling us some some bullshit that you're not supposed to pay taxes. Brother, listen to me, yo. And they telling you to use business credit but not pay taxes. How? How? This information so fucked up out here. They give me y'all so much information so fast. That they literally out here just trying to fucking distract you. Majority of the shit that we heard growing up, we got to unlearn. Half of the shit that we hear right now on social media is incorrect. And I want y'all to know, it ain't about you. That's not why they're giving the information. It's not for you. It's not even for you. It's not about you. The journey, your story, everything you've been through, that stuff is about you. And you need to tell that story. You need to share that story. And you need to put it into your business model and why you are doing your business. And then use that why to make yourself keep going and be disciplined. Show up every day. Some of y'all don't want to tell y'all a story. I tell my story all the time. You already know. I came from Philly. We had the roaches in the kitchen. I used to drive Uber, Lyft. I used to work in a jail. I used to flip burgers at Crystal's. I used to work at Applebee's. I tell my story all day and night. Because that's what made me me. Y'all be ashamed to say where y'all came from. Y'all be ashamed to say what y'all been through. A lot of that shit is a part of y'all story. And that's the reason why you never want to go back. But some of y'all won't even tell y'all story. Y'all want to tell somebody else's story. That's why everybody on Instagram rich. Everybody on Instagram and TikTok is lit and rich and the best dress and the best, got the best chains and the best watches. That's why you, you telling somebody else's story. That's somebody else's shit. But I got on here the other day and I said, yo, what's my story? What was my first car? Everybody said it. I said, yo, how many hours I used to drive on Uber? They said the same amount of time that I used to drive. They know my story because I tell it. Y'all don't tell y'all story. Y'all want to be somebody else. Some of y'all trying to be pushed. Not even, not everybody, but some of y'all trying to be pushed, man, Mitch. And that's not your story. Your story is your story. Make it about you. Tell your truth transcend from what you used to be elevate what everybody is saying to you and talking to you about that shit is the curse you broke that break the curse anybody that knew you prior to today they don't even know you you a whole new person you completely different you got completely, completely different thoughts beliefs and you gonna have to have completely different actions though for people to believe you that's about you y'all believe in what other people are saying about you they hating on you and believing it they saying, yo, you ain't shit. You believe in it. They saying, you can't have this credit score. You believe it. They saying, you better just work a nine to five. You better off. You believed it. That shit not about you. I'm just saying. I wish somebody would have told me that earlier. Because when I was out here trying to grind and try to figure myself out and try to get my business together and get my credit together and all of this, guess what happened? <laughs> these niggas ain't about to catch me, bro. Got it. I'm going to hit these niggas, bro. Watch that. Nigga gonna die. <laughs> Get out the way. Fuck out of here, bro. I'm not talking to these niggas. Today. I really gotta go to what's the name? You gotta go to him. And drop me where? Mm. No, fuck no. You going with me. <laughs> fuck no. Going through the course right now, just stopping by the show, love. Appreciate that. But yeah, I want y'all to really know, man, we gotta, it's this, a lot of people talking this mindset stuff and really don't understand that that's all it is. That's the difference between a millionaire and the person who make a couple hundred thousand dollars, a person who make $50, make $20, make $10, $5. It's all about the mindset. Do you believe that you can make millions? Do you believe that a million dollars is a lot of money? Do you believe that you can make $100,000 in a day? Do you believe that? Then go out there and show yourself that it's true. Go do it. Go take the risk. 
Go move like that. You got to go spend that money, bro. You got to go spend the money. How you going to not want to spend 100000 but what you want to make 100000 Don't even make sense. That's not even the laws of the universe. You're not even treating the energy right. You're not even treating the laws of the universe correctly. You want 100000 but you won't spend 100000 Who's is the whatever you give to the world, the world will give back to you. Whatever you take from the world, the world will take from you. Y'all gotta remember that. Y'all gotta remember that. You gotta you gotta you gotta abide by the laws of the universe. Energy is the realest thing in the universe. Energy is the realest thing in the universe. The more you give to the world, the world will give to you. The more you take, the world will take from you. And y'all don't want to give anything. Case in point, I want to make 200 k but I don't spend any money on advertisement to expose my business to other people who don't know about me, right? How do I ever make that 200K? If you believe that you're supposed to make that amount of money, you will believe by investing in yourself and spending money on marketing and advertisement. And then you're gonna have the best of the best. It just is what it is. That's the laws of the universe. That's the laws, man. You gotta follow the laws of the world or the universe. Y'all trying to break the laws of the universe. That's the realest thing in the world, man. I don't care what you believe in, energy is the realest thing in the world. If I walk into a room and give somebody a compliment, please believe he's, they're gonna give me a compliment back. If I say, yo, man, I love, yo, y'all smiles just brighten my whole day up, man. I appreciate y'all even being here. They gonna say, I appreciate you. If I tell a girl, oh, man, your cologne smells nice, she's going to say something. Thank you. She's going to say something nice back to me. If I say something negative to people, guess what's going to happen? If I say something negative in a room full of people, people going to say some negative shit back. That's the laws of the universe. So the same thing go with money. It's just energy. The more you invest, the more you make. The more you take, the more you lose. It's simple. It's simple. So that means you need to give more. Give more energy. Give more sacrifice. Give more attention. And then watch how much money you start making. Watch how much money you start making. All y'all want to be millionaires. How much have you spent on ads? Zero. How much you spend on marketing? Zero. How much you spend on PR? Zero. How much you spend on making your business more profitable by hiring people to train your staff? Zero. Do you got an AI specialist? No. Do you have a marketing specialist? Do you have ad specialists? Do you have anything that's going to make your business more profitable that you spent money on to get people to pay attention to? Zero. So why are you making zero dollars? Everybody knows. There's no surprise. It's no surprise. You're not even surprised. When you see that you don't make no money, you're not surprised. Because guess what you're expecting? You're expecting to put free content on a free website or a free Instagram. And you're going to put free stuff and people are going to give you money. That's what y'all expect. Y'all expect to go on Instagram, which is free. Post a, a flyer from Canva, which is free. And let everybody know that you've got stuff for sale. And then you want to make millions of dollars. Even though you didn't spend anything to get exposure, credibility, testimonials, reviews, any validity. You don't care about that stuff. So you never get no customers. And then you, you're not even surprised. You're not even surprised when you don't make the millions. You're like, yeah, I ain't really put that much into it. If you ain't really put that much into it, did you really believe in the first place? Did you really think it was going to work in the first place? Did you? Did you really believe in it? Did you really think it was going to work? You got to break the curse. Break the curse. You've been cursed with this, yo. Did you believe? Y'all answer me. Drop a one in the chat if that person believed. If you ain't spent money on advertising, PR, training, nothing. You just literally doing everything for free. Do you really think that that person believes that they're going to make millions of dollars? You really think that? You really believe that? I say, hell nah. Some people don't want to put a lot into their business because they are still in doubt. I know. They don't believe. They don't believe in their business. If you believed in your business, you would put every ounce of your money and time and sacrifice and energy into it. I'm telling you, you would. Because you, I'm telling y'all, y'all do that for stuff that y'all believe in. Y'all put money behind stuff you, that y'all value. I promise y'all right now, if I said, listen, I got my Rolls Royce Cullinan, look, 
I got the title in hand. I'm going to give it to the first person that come and bring me $5,000. Y'all will be moving hell and high water to get that 5K. Y'all will borrow because you know you already believe in the worth of the Rolls Royce. You believe it. Somebody at the doorbell at uh, Sandy. But you can't even see him. You will believe 100% that you will be able to get that soul for more than $5,000. So you will literally move everything. You will go get a credit card. You will go get a loan. You will go call your best friend, your mom. Hey, listen, I got I need, five, I need 500. I just need my last 500. I get this 5K. I'm about to get a Rolls Royce. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to get 300K, 400K, 500K. Because you believe in it. But you don't believe in yourself like that. You don't believe that, oh, if I put $5,000 into my business, then it's going to pay me off by giving me five hundred dollars in, in, in revenue. $2 million in revenue. $20 million in revenue. You don't think that. You don't believe in yourself like you believe in the Rolls Royce. Like you believe in the Lamborghinis. Like you believe in the Louis Vuitton. You believe in the Gucci and the Yeezys. You don't believe in your business like that. Because if you did, you would put that money there. You will put that money all up in that. You'll be like, yo, let's get it. I already know if I put this money in, I'm going to get $20 million out of this shit. But you don't believe in it. That's why you do all free shit for your business. That's why you do only free things. You only invest the minimal. That's how much you believe in your business. If you believed in it, you would spend the last. If you knew all my folks who got these big companies, they are putting millions of dollars into it. They are even going to get people to to actually do uh, funding for them. They actually did, hey, listen, bro, look, I need to raise some funds for this business. We're gonna have this much capital so we can be able to put this much work into it, this amount of, uh, all of these different things. You gotta realize that. Oh, I need a venture capitalist. I need to, I need to get the crowdfunding. I want y'all to go watch the, uh, the Spotify uh, TV show about how much capital that they had to raise to, to get Spotify off the ground. Which everybody uses Spotify now. Our, our streaming services like Spotify. Change the music industry as you know it. Go look how much capital they had to raise just for that. Because they believed in it. They ran out of their own money, guess what they did? Guess what happened when they ran out of their own money? They had to go get investors. They didn't say, I'm gonna put zero dollars into this, but I want it to be the best thing in the world. They didn't say that. They wanted to put everything into it. Y'all have to realize that. Like, y'all have to realize at some point of failing at businesses and trying to do everything for free that you're going to have to spend money on yourself, on your business. And the money that you make, you got to put it back into the business. You're going to have to realize that. Y'all yeah. still ain't realized that? If you realize that, drop a one in the chat. If you realize that, drop a one in the chat. If you realize that, drop a one in the chat. If you realize that the reason why you've been failing at business... The reason why your business, you keep going from different industry to different industry, and you keep thinking it's the it's the industry. You literally keep thinking it's the industry, but it's you. You don't put money behind it, bro. You don't you don't pay for you don't pay for people to train your staff, bro. You don't pay for people to teach you the latest greatest stuff on SaaS, go high level, click funnels, active campaign on websites, and people to try to maximize the amount of checkout. Uh, payments that you get y'all don't spend no money on that bro i know y'all don't y'all don't care about it y'all don't care about it bro y'all don't care enough y'all don't care about it enough and y'all wonder why y'all keep failing y'all don't care so what i want to say is this man it's time break the curse break the curse man Break the curse. If y'all really want to change y'all life, the way you live, 
the way you travel, the way you experience it. Like people don't understand why making money is important. It's not about the money. It's just about how you experience life. Like when I used to take, I remember my first time going to Miami. Look, my first time going to Miami, I went with my high school friends. We went and we stayed on a hotel that was very cheap. It was on North Beach. Um, and we had to literally get, we took uh, taxis and stuff like that to go drive around because we couldn't afford a rental. Um, we hanged around on South Beach. We went into restaurants we didn't want to pay. We went into all free clubs because we didn't want to pay to get in the club. We didn't have uh, money to just go buy jeans. We had a lot of shorts, so we couldn't get into any clubs that you had to wear pants. And my experience was different. I didn't ride jet skis because we didn't have money for jet skis. We didn't take a yacht so because we didn't have money for a yacht. Right? Then clearly when you got money, you can go do all of these different things. You can get invited to, you can go to Star Island. You can go be able to do different experiences. Same thing, I took a trip to Mexico. I, I ain't had that much money when I went to Mexico. You know, I didn't have money to do a, the, the excursion that I wanted. I didn't be, I wasn't able to experience it the same way. Even when I take flights, I was taking flights, I was getting on Delta, but I was in economy. I didn't experience Delta the way that Delta is supposed to be experienced. I didn't know that I can have my, my coat check, my suit jacket check real nice. I didn't know that I can be getting fed. I can get a, before I take off, I get a drink. After I'm in the air, I can get as many drinks as I want to. I can get as many snacks, food. They'll serve me a tray. All of these different, I didn't know that I was supposed to, I didn't experience it that way. And then it's not about the money. It's about the experience of life, the quality of life. Everybody's going the same place, but we're not flying the same way. We're not having the same experience. People getting off the plane like, I hate Delta. I'm like, damn, how can you say you hate Delta? People getting off the plane like, I hate Delta. Damn, this is horrible. I'm like, how? It's the best thing ever. I get to recline. I got on a Delta One. I get to lay down on a bed. It's different. We all go into the same place, but we got different experiences. That makes sense. That's why some of y'all got to get your money up just so you can be able to not just exist. I want y'all to be able to live. The saddest thing that I see is people that live on this beautiful earth that God created and they don't get to see it. They live on this beautiful earth that God created and they don't never get to see it. I got family members that never left Philadelphia. Never, ever. Never left Philly. Till this day. About to be 40 years old. Never left Philadelphia. Never got on a first class flight. Never got to get a, a four hands massage in Bali. Never got to stay in a, villi, a villa. Never got to see how blue water looked, not just the green water that be in the creek in Cobbs Creek Parkway. Never got to see that people treat you different in different cities, different countries, different states, different laws, different regulations, different normalities. You never got to see that. Not never got to see how the landscape is in in the desert. Not to get got to see the Great Wall of China. Not to get to see all these different islands and peninsulas that that's out here, man. And it's crazy. We live our whole life. You got people who live 60, 70 years and never left their block, never left they they city, never left their state. And then the more you travel, guess what happens when you travel? The more you travel, the more exposure you get and your mind changes and you learn different things about different cultures. It lets you understand how privileged we are as, as American uh, citizens. It lets you know how people who, who are born in different circumstances, they don't have all the liberties we have and you start to really understand the true nature of how blessed you are, how lucky you are for being where you are, how you've been there. Like it's. It's crazy. But if you don't travel, you'll never know. You'll think that you got it tough. Has anybody ever thought that they had it bad and then they pulled up to the corner and seen a homeless man out there sleeping in the middle of fucking 100 degree weather on a fucking cardboard box? Has anybody ever thought they had it bad and then it's the winter time, it's fucking below zero, and then you see homeless people outside with a fucking blanket around them? Well, guess what? 
even though that's bad, these homeless people, they get locked up, they go to jail, they get free health care, they get food. You go to these third world countries, they be dead on the street. You go to these third world countries, they be dead on the street. It's always somebody who got it worse. Sometimes you need to travel to see how blessed you are, how lucky you are, and you need to take advantage of your circumstances because it could have been way different. You could have had a way shittier end of the stick. You could have had it way worse. It get real sometimes. It could have been ugly for you. The people working at the resorts be making like $200, $300 a month. Well, it, it, well, there's a cost of living difference. It's not about how much they make. It's not about how much they make. People who work at a resort is $200, $300 a month. They may live in a, a country where the cost of living is only fucking $50 a month. So it's not about how much they make. It's about quality of life. It's about how literally it could have been different for you. And even now you have what we would consider privilege. Some people talk about being reincarnated as somebody else, as, as Jay-Z's kid or P. Diddy's kid or some shit like that, right? And you in a position right now that people would kill to be reincarnated as somebody with just the opportunity. And you waste it every day. You waste it every single day. Y'all don't get up and go get it, man, because like I told you, y'all gotta break the curse. It's just a mental curse that's on you that you don't you don't believe that this stuff is for you. You don't believe. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all right now watching me on this live literally do not believe that you deserve to be a wealthy person. You don't think you deserve to have like stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, marble floors, heated marble floors. You literally don't believe that you deserve that. You don't think it's in your car, it's in the cards for you. You don't think you're the type of person that that can happen for. You literally right now, as you're watching me, you do not believe that. You don't believe that you're supposed to be flying first class. You don't believe that you're supposed to experience flying private. You don't think you're supposed to go to islands and stay on a, a hotel where you literally on top of an island and you can see the fucking water underneath your hotel villa room. You don't believe you're supposed to experience that. You literally don't believe that. And since you don't, and since you don't believe it, you don't have it. Since you don't believe it, you don't have it. You don't go for it. You don't try to get it. You don't try to excel in life. You don't try to even go after it because you don't think you deserve it. And the only thing that has to change for you to get it is for you to believe that you deserve it and that you can have it. And then you'll go after it, full throttle. And then you'll believe in it the same way I told you. Y'all believe in Louis Vuitton and Gucci and the worth of all of that useless stuff. Y'all believe in that. But y'all don't believe in yourself and your business. You don't promote it. You don't care about it. You don't even you don't even care enough to make sure it has a an actual website. You don't care enough to make sure it has an actual social media, has an actual business phone number, has an actual email list. Actually have staff to respond to emails. You don't care enough to do that. If you did, you would. It's a fact. And then the people who do get it, you hate on them. And you say, I don't know how they got it and I don't got it. Trust me, I've been there. You say, I can't believe they got it and I don't got this shit. I can't believe he making that money and I ain't making that money. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. And like I said, I got people think it's cliche. Don't y'all? Don't y'all think it's cliche? When I say all you gotta do is believe that you can do that, and y'all think that's bullshit. Don't y'all? Don't y'all think that? That's cliche. What do you mean? Just believe? Literally, if you really believe that you can have that shit. That means you're going to go for it. You're going to spend money on it. You're going to invest in it. 
But guess what happened when y'all stop believing in y'all business? Y'all spend no money, no time, no effort, no energy, no sacrifice on it. We can tell when you believe in something. We can tell when you believe in yourself. When you believe in yourself, you you take you you take care of yourself. Peter Pan Ben gave us the sauce. <laughs> Facts. But in reality, in reality, we have a, a simple problem, a simple issue. Belief. A simple problem. It's a belief problem. And y'all don't believe, and I can tell. I can tell, dog. You can tell when somebody care about their business, can't y'all? Hey, let, let me ask y'all a question. Can you tell when somebody care about their business? Can you tell when somebody is about their business? Can you tell when somebody's an elite? Can't y'all tell? Who, who can tell? Drop a one in the chat if you can tell when another person is about their business, they serious, and they're elite. If you can tell. Drop a one in the chat if you can tell. Drop a one in the chat if you can tell. Just by looking at a person on how they carry themselves, how they have their websites and how they have their automation and how they have their staff and how they move. Can you tell that a person is elite and about their business just by looking at them? If you can tell that, if you can tell that, I want you to look at yourself Look at yourself. Are you about your business? And are you serious about your business? Are you elite? Come on. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. If you can tell just by looking at somebody else what you think they look at when they look at you. What you think they say when they look at you and your business and your website. Your, your, your business don't even got a Google business page. We can't even Google you. What do you think they say? I want y'all to be honest. It's the only way to grow. I want y'all to be honest. It's the only way to grow. What you think they say? When they look, just let's just say, just looking at your social media, what do they say? Just let, let some people say, oh, don't use the social media. Look, just looking at your social media. What do they say? Looking at how you carry yourself in person. What do they say? Looking at your business website. What do they say? Looking at your numbers. What do they say? Fuck no. Nigga ain't elite. I wouldn't invest a dime. That's what they say. Somebody said, you ain't had to spend it like that. No, you. We, I do have to spend it like that so people can start understanding, so they can start doing these things, so they can start carrying themselves the right way, caring about their business, actually showing up. Everybody else is giving y'all fluff. Everybody else is giving y'all fluff. Everybody else is giving y'all fluff. And they telling y'all that you're doing good when you're not doing good. You're, they telling you that you're getting better when you're not getting better. You're literally running on a treadmill and everybody is coddling you and they're trying to protect your feelings. They're trying to make sure you you stay coddled. I'm going to let you know for real. A lot of y'all are not elite at all. And not even trying to get better at all, because the problem is that people are telling you that you are official. They telling you that you are official and you're not. So you never going to grow because you already think you official. If somebody is comfortable and they think that they're good, do they work harder? Let me ask y'all this question. When you've been working a job for three years, the same job, and you think that you are already good, do you steal time from the workplace or do you go harder? You work real hard like you're trying to get a promotion. Y'all tell me the answer. If a person has been working the same position for three years, do you find ways to steal time, relax, chill make the workplace easy going or do you go super duper hard trying to get a promotion 
You already in, you got it already in good. What do you do? What do you do? I tell you what you do. I tell you what you do. You relax. You still time. You don't get better. You don't get better. I'll tell you again, you don't get better. So when these coaches or these mentors, they lie to you and tell you that you are elite, and then you lie to yourself and tell yourself that you are elite, how much better are you going to get? You're not. Tell yourself that you are going hard. Tell themselves that you are going hard. Cap. It's cap. And y'all gonna learn, man. Y'all gonna learn. Look, man. I just want, I just genuinely, sincerely want everybody who comes in contact with me to get better. I want literally people who are inspired by me, who watch my content, get trained by me, take my courses, my mentorship, come to my in-person events. I just want them to get better when they leave. I want to to I want them to leave out more knowledgeable, more skilled, more elite than they were before they came. That's it. So I can't lie to you for that to work. I can't fluff to you for that to work. Make sense? I cannot. I cannot. I can't sugarcoat this shit. Because y'all got too much potential, too much opportunity, too much. It's just like so simple in this day and age, 21st century, the digital age, smartphone era, tech era. For you to become a millionaire and for y'all literally just dropping the ball. And I need y'all to get busy. Yo, by the time I get out of this car, my suit gonna be wrinkled as a fuck. Bing. Gotta have a green on green, you feel me? Know what I'm saying? By the time I get out of this car, my suit gonna be wrinkled as shit. People gonna be thinking I ain't come come correct. How I get my first million. I'll tell you how you get your first million. This is the first step. You can one, join my Patreon group. Two, come to my in-person event um, September 3rd through the 5th. Come tap in with your boy Pushman Mitch where I can teach you how to become one of the more elite, wealthier gentlemen in this world. And if you come, I'll tell you, I can promise you one thing. You're going to come out better than you was before you left. Now, what you do after you leave, I have no idea. How consistent you are after you leave, I have no idea, you know. But what I can promise you is that the education will be 100% legit. The training, the workshops, the content creation will be elite. Yeah. Y'all know I'm on timing. Y'all know I'm on timing with it, bro. Stop playing with them. Y'all know I'm on timing. No lie. Information on me. Execution on you. 100%. So, yeah, man. I'm just... I'm just I just want to challenge y'all. I just want to challenge y'all to level up real quick. I want to challenge y'all to shut me up. I want y'all to... Cha I'm challenging y'all to prove me wrong. Prove me wrong that you're not elite. Show me that you elite. Surpass me. Prove me wrong, brother. He not lying. Him and Akila helped me get my credit in shape for funding. Listen to this, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Show me, man. Oh yeah, the mastermind about to be next level, man. I, lo I love I love when everybody like this is gonna be the biggest mastermind I did, so it's about to be so dope. But I love I love how I brought the price down. 
you know, I had to get a bigger venue because we brought the price down so low for the mastermind. We got the car show. I love how y'all are more excited than me. Y'all been talking about the mastermind more than I did. I ain't even got to do too much promotion. Um, but yeah, man, I can't wait till the third. It's about to be ill. We're going to do the car show. The fourth, we about to go crazy. We're going to have, we got, we rented out the club. We got a whole club rented out for this. It's about to be ill. Y'all come dressed to impress. Make sure y'all got y'all suits on. I dare y'all to prove me wrong that y'all not elite. I want to see the elite. When I come in the room, I want to smell elite. I want to see it. I want to know what time it is. When I walk in the room, I want to see the League of Extraordinary Gentlewomen and Men. I want to see straight elite folks. I want it to look like I just walked into the World Trade Center when everybody is executively trading actively on the dial, bro. I want to see... Fortune 500 CEOs when I walk into the mastermind. I want to see like, I want to feel inferior when I walk up in there. I want to feel like the net worth inside of the room is so crazy when I walk in the mastermind that it's just nuts. You know what I'm saying? I want to just feel inferior. I want to feel nervous to speak. You know what I mean? I want That's how I want to feel when I walk into the mastermind. So I appreciate y'all, all, all my folks who tapping in. And coming, pulling up to the ATL to come check me out. I got some very dope stuff planned for y'all. I got the VIP brunches already paid for. I got the oh, the private chef coming through to make sure they whip it up real smooth. It's about to be ill. But like I said, I want to be I want to be nervous in there. My brother taking all day, yo. Moon talking about you gonna be nervous for show. Sure. I don't know. I hope so, bro. I be walking around with my chin up, man. You always want to carry all around you along. God bless you more. Yeah, man, I just want it. I, that's how I want the room to look. I want people that when they see us pull up, that they shook. Like, they're like, damn. Who are these people? What are they about to invest in? What are they about to buy? How much do they own? Do they own all of the land in Atlanta? Like, that's, that's all I'm on. I'm on timing. That's, what I, that's all I want right there. I'm on timing with it. I'm so tired, yo. Y'all know I ain't been doing lives like I used to, man. I'm tired, bro. I don't be doing lives like that no more. It's crazy. I don't be doing lives no more because I got the Patreon. I be going. I'm going hard in the Patreon. We got a, a live Q and A tonight on the Patreon group. So that shit gonna be dope. Moon, make sure you in the um the live joint at nine o'clock tonight, bro. It's gonna be ill. Live Q and A. Live Q and A tonight at nine p.m. in the Patreon group. Make sure you get busy. Oh, crazy by the way, tell me no one you. Oh, y'all trying to get on live with your boy. Everything is up to you. Ah, oh, let me tell my brother to grab my typings. I know he's going to forget. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Don't go nowhere. I know y'all gonna go somewhere anyway, but hold on. Today, everything is up to you. Cuz like David Banner. David Banner, David Banner. To... Got your ass. Man, look. 
y'all ain't tapped in with the boy, you already know it's King Jess. Sign up with him right now, man. When I tell you this dude, I've met some millionaires in my life. But this dude right here is on another level. He really living what he preach. I don't cap my dog shit, man. That's, that's love right there, bro. What's up, boy? Chilling, bro. You good? Yeah, bro. I just called my brother, so I knocked all the people out the line. Oh, you, you know how it be. Back. Yeah, bro. As soon as that shit freeze, bro, they out of there, bro. What time it's like? Shit, bro. It was supposed to... It was supposed to be at 9 p.m., but, like, I'm not doing shit, so I'm about to just pull up to the airport and see if they can just you know, pay some extra shit and just fly back. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you'll be able to. Yeah, That's it, Orlando. I got to get back to back to the grind, though. Bro. Yeah, man, go make some money for us, man. I got I got, I got, got a little uh, I got a little 15, 10-pack coming, coming your way, so you can. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah I got, need it, bro. Got, got a little, little, little 15K coming to you, my boy. Man, look, I got this. I'm closing out this house. Mm. I gotta put some rackies down, bro. A couple hundred dollars. Oh, so. Okay, say less. I'm not hustling, you. bro. I'm just trying to. When you do some big shit like that, you just gotta, you just gotta go. Oh, let's get ready to run it back. Run it, man. Yeah. You ready to run it back? Yeah, bro. Shit, we'll do yours first before I. All right, say less, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna run this monster clock play. Yeah. I just just started running. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a couple. Of let days. me know. It don't yeah. matter where you want to do it. Just yeah, let me know. Yeah, yeah. What you want me to do with this show? Uh, my brother probably he about to come down now, so. Okay. okay. So I just let him grab it. I bet you want me to, because I'm going to clean it out and shit. Like, I can just. Just leave it right there. Just, um, just start doing it right there. You better right, come on. Let's go. Uh. All right, mate. Let me produce your album. Do y'all think I'm like a music artist? Do y'all know where I got all my followers from? I got, I actually um was a finalist on American Idol. That's where I got my followers from so people think that i got it from financial literacy but really i'm known for more of my music i was a singer rapper songwriter producer you know engineer so the only reason that people follow me is because i was on american idol the finalists go, go look me up go look me up i was a finalist somebody said i know you cold as fuck bro People don't know that I'm from. I'm in the music game with it. You feel me? I do, do, do you like drugs? All right, cool. Who want to who want to do a uh, a live consultation right now? Just ask to join a live. I'll do a live consultation with you real quick. While I'm waiting for bruv. While I'm waiting for my bruv. Hurry up. Live consultation. Let's go. Do you like drugs? Oh, oh, oh. Do you like drugs? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How are you? What's up, bro? Doing hey, well. man. How are Don't you? Talk to me, man. What you got going on? What's up with your hair, bro? Just got done boxing? No. Nah. Talk to me. No, nah, man. What can I'm I help you get with today, sir? You see, what, you see what I got on my wrist? What is wrist? that? Portable oh, business card. How can I help you, though? What can I help you with? You see my uh, Telegram see message? Go look later um, when you can. Okay, I'll go look at it. I thought you wanted to do a live consultation, man. Right. What's up? What can I help Let's you do with? Let's do it. The Telegram message says it all, but so look, um, pretty much I got this, um, I, I'm in college and I was on campus and I realized on this like strip, all the kids walk through the strip and um, they're just selling stuff all day on that strip. So I'm going out there. I'm about to start. Um, I'm about to start promoting everything like my business. And the only issue I got is I don't really got all the whips and all the spaces that I need or the capital. So if I if I were to capture all the contacts, you got someone I could send them to? Where? 
I'm in I'm in uh Boca Raton, South Florida. What campus you at? Oh yeah, hell yeah. But you know I don't like dealing with kids, bro. I feel you. You know, y'all can't drive and shit. <laughs> I could drive, but you right. A lot of You can kids. drive? You got a car? Definitely. Cut yeah, boss I got, show it to me. Yeah. Hey, watch this, y'all. Watch this. Right, watch this, y'all. Let me get my shoes on. Watch this. All right, brother. All right, buddy. Yeah. 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 Right, bro. Be safe, man. I see you on your side, man. Nice you, you already know, man. Yeah. Why not? Why? Hey, look, you owe me fifty cent after you run it, though. You owe me fifty cent. Oh God. All right, let me see. Let me see your car, bro. Let's 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 go start there. All right, so look, this is a new whip. You just got to win. I just got this one. Like, a hey, month ago. Let me see those rims. I said a month back ago. Woo! <laughs> let me see the back left rim. Bring it down close. Give it close. Hell no. Hell no. You can't drive. Damn. You're right. I do got some right here. Nah. Yeah. Nah, you can't <laughs> drive, Let me bro. take this Hell other no. one. That's, yeah, that's not the one you parallel this park with, cool. though. It's the other one. That's why I already knew. Yeah, nah, you can't drive, bro. What about your other Damn. car? Go to your other one. Nah. Nah, nah. This one you can drive, so though. it should be fine. But it's, it's, nah, it's not my fault. I didn't drive, do it. So I didn't do it. Hold on. You said back. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. You, you see the play? <laughs> you see the play? Did you? Yeah, you but it hasn't been working. I'm not gonna lie. This, bro, you cannot drive. This one's drive, crazy. Bro. You cannot drive, so that's why yeah, we don't deal terrible. with kids. You see why? It don't. I had okay. this car since I was young, though. Well, why you ain't fixed the rims yet? And then you broke. Then you I messed up the whip. rims and a new it. I'm about to rent this one out. <laughs> so the answer, the answer to the play right, that yeah. you trying to run is no, because we don't want to deal with no kids. Now we can do photo shoots and video shoots and stuff like that, but we but we can't we can't mess with no rentals because right. we ain't gonna do nothing that's but tear cool. our cars up. That's basically right, just that's like cool, going to like cool. Toys R Us and just saying, "Yo, let the kids play with all the toys and then let's go resell them." It's like pointless. You know what I mean? All right, so you saying capture the capture the contact? Oh, let's, just, just let's just set up your waist up. But you, just up. you said what? Hey, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? Hi. Uh huh. Hi. You said do something else. All right, what? What you think? I mean, I it's do? so many plays I gave you, bro. You should be able to get saucy. Like, won't you just sell? Won't you just? Won't you just get all the nah, content yeah. from the kids? Just yeah. Hit them with the ecom swag. No, I'm, I definitely am. I'm definitely doing that. I'm designing Don't think so small, bro. Don't think so small, bro. Do, do it big. Don't you got that, like, fan thing? Don't you got, like, that fan you thing? You said, don't I got what? Fan? It's trash. Yeah, we'll get a different product trash, and then take it around the campus and make all the kids Terrible. put it on their TikToks, man, and then sell that shit everywhere. You on a college campus? You need to go ahead and get you a couple yeah. of products, econ products, have them join ship to your crib, walk around the campus and do interviews and tell them to interview to rate the product one through 10, use all the ones where they say it's a 10 and then put it on your damn website and then sell the fuck out of that shit, bro. You know what I mean? Right, you know how to that. do that, bro. Yeah. Run the play. Yeah. Now, you, now you have now been blessed by the master. So now you have my blessing. Go ahead and run the play. All right, bro. All right. Yo, come on, bro.
I'm a consultation goat. Who next? Who next? Who next, bro? bro. This is what we doing tonight in the Patreon. If y'all don't know, this is what we do on Patreon. Every, every uh last Sunday of the month, we do this at Patreon. So if y'all don't know, we're doing this at night, 9 p.m. Eastern in the Patreon group. $99 a month to be involved with the group. Half off masterminds. Everything is lit. Make sure you tap in. And you did. We're doing that tonight. What? Right here. Grab my brown bag. Oh. Huh? Grab my brown bag out. In the back. That shit locked. That shit locked. Cheese. Everybody who's saying bring me up, DM me the word peso. Join the Patreon. We're going to do this tonight. 9 p.m. Eastern time doing live Q&A. You already know what time it is. Patreon group only, but y'all got a little taste of it. If you want to join my Patreon group, I, I encourage it greatly. So many perks. So many perks. I'll let you later. Peace.